Hey guys, welcome back to another organization video here on the channel and this is a fun one. We're reorganizing my office bookcase and not only creating a functional and efficient space, but one that looks really pretty too. Best of both worlds, I think. So I'm bringing you along with me as I figure this out on the fly and I'm doing this today. It wasn't on the list of to do's, but sometimes when motivation strikes, you have to ride that wave. So let's do this. Hey guys, Charlani here. I am feeling inspired which means we are going to switch around our schedule today and likely part of tomorrow to tackle a project that I've been wanting to do for the last couple of months. Today is the day we're gonna start. Let me explain. This is my home office. This is where I keep all the things for Live Happy Label, all of our planning stuff, the clip folios, notepads, stickers. This is basically where I pack all of our orders here. So here's what I want to do. I need to figure out a way and I don't really have a game plan except for what I do want to do for sure is I want to move all of my candlesticks and vases. I want all of those to go up right here. I'm going to take most of these baskets out because I want to fill up the one, two, three, four. I want to fill these with my books, all the reading books. And then I need to restructure the way that I keep all of our product. And I want this shelf, this shelf, this shelf, and this shelf to be all the product. So I have all of these bins right here. I've already kind of started putting product in some of them just to make sure that things fit. So all of these clip folios here, like they fit perfectly in this bin. And then I have these bins here for the calendar and the larger notepads. And then I have these, which are the smaller ones, which hold the smaller notepads. So I have a bunch of bins. And what I wanna do is I don't wanna stack everything like this anymore. I really wanna get everything into a bin. So it'll be much easier to move things around. And then stacking things like this has worked for quite some time, but you can see it's a little bit wonky. And now that the stacks are kind of getting bigger, I think doing it this way just makes a little bit more sense. And I think it'll look really pretty once everything kind of is a more cohesive look. And then obviously <laughs> this is kind of a mess over here. I still have product over here. I'm holding a couple of things because we're redoing my husband's office eventually, but I, when I see something I like and it's on sale, I grab it. So we just need to kind of move things around, get reorganized, but I'm excited because I really want to redo these sections right here. We're gonna just kind of dive right in and see how it goes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get the products into all of our bins so I kind of know what I'm working with. And I really am hoping that just using those two shelves right here and those two shelves right there, I'm hoping that's going to be enough. And then this shelf, this shelf, that shelf, and those two will be all books. Over the next two months, I'll be adding a few new stationary products to the shop. So I know that using these bins, it's not only gonna allow me to quickly and easily move things around so I can make more space when I need to, but it's so much more efficient, I think, instead of stacking. I pack all of our notepads in plastic to keep them safe during shipping, um, but it's not exactly airtight. So it's like stacking a slippery surface onto each other. It's not exactly the best way to do it. But I got all of these bins at Target and they are a perfect 
fit. It's the Bright Room brand. They've got lots of different sizes you can choose from. So if you're looking for clear bins like this, they're not very expensive. But don't forget to look in like the bathroom and kitchen sections too. In fact, that's where I found the bins for the five and a half by eight notepads. Um, but I love them because not only are they practical, but it's going to make everything look nice and organized. And I just love that the most. I've moved everything from here. Everything now is up there. I'm happy with that, good enough. I do think like if I can find some kind of picture, maybe I'll pull one from down here. I am a stacked picture frame girl. <laughs> I love this look of artwork just kind of stacked onto each other. So I might grab something from here and put it up there where there's like some white space just to make the storage of it look a little more aesthetic <laughs> so we'll see but I'm happy with the way that looks now I so everything all of our product is in the bins and I have room for new things that are coming um, but I don't love it this side is okay like I'm pretty happy with all of this the clip folios are all here We've got the to-do list, shopping list, calendar there. I have another calendar over here too, but these kind of go quick, so I'm thinking that I'll just leave this. It's actually, this bin is just one of these turned sideways, so you can see it's like a half right here. So I'll leave that in there for now, and, and I like I said, I like this, but I'm not loving that. It seems so heavy on the bottom, but I don't know. I think once we get the books up, It'll, it'll make a little bit more sense and maybe come together a little bit better. And I have some more up here too. And these will just be the quick grabs so I can grab stuff there when I'm packing orders here. And so far, I'm really happy with how it's come out. So the next step is going to be to get all of the books down. I have books here. I have books from around the house. So we'll have to bring some in here and then we'll just start playing with everything in the shelves. And I did dust the shelves, by the way. <laughs> they were pretty dang dusty. So as I empty one, I'll go ahead and clean it. These little Swiffers right here are the best. Good morning, guys. All right, so I have brought a bunch of our books from around the house, what was already in here, and then what I have from around the house that I wanted to make sure was gonna be in here. But let me show you, I have another bookcase. I had a bunch in here. I've taken all of those. We will re this another time. This whole back area eventually is gonna get a makeover, paint, all the things. This is our guest room. <laughs> But this is my other bookcase. And let me turn the light on. And we love this. Like this is just absolutely everything. A lot of the books that are in here are Rob's. Mine are interspersed. There is absolutely no rhyme or reason for any of how this is organized up. Now, my thought is I'm gonna leave this as it is for now. I don't wanna mess with it because I think it looks really, really pretty. And I, I don't necessarily need these books, but I'm gonna wait and see what it looks like in my office and then I'll decide if I want to snag, you know, some of these books from here. Isn't she pretty? This is one of my first like big DIYs <laughs> building out this bookcase. I love it so i have a nook that my sister got me probably over 10 years ago i have had this for a really really long time so let's see i'm currently reading throne of glass 
just started it. Like literally, I think I'm on chapter seven. But I have hundreds of books here. Like hundreds. And so what I'm wanting to do is when I find a series like Fourth Wing, Akatar, I think what I'm gonna start doing is buying the hardcover books when I really love a book, when I read it in my nook. But look at, <laughs> we've got duct tape on my cover, but this, and it's hefty. Like now you can get a nook or a Kindle and it's like super lightweight. <laughs> this is a hefty beast, but like I said, she is over 10 years old, but we love her so much. So that is my game plan. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have more eventually because I'm going to add to our library. I'm just now starting to appreciate and, and love the bindings of a book and the covers and things like that. The other thing is that I always take the covers off of my hardbound books and I literally just put them in here just because a lot of the times I didn't like the color of the covers but I'm thinking now I'm gonna put those back on like put the jackets on all of my books so that I have all the information regarding that book um, with the book <laughs> I would just take the jacket right off and just have it sitting on my shelf like this because most of the spines of our personal development books anyways are really pretty and simple and I like that but I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the jackets back on because I want to keep all of like this information with the books so all of that to kind of say, <laughs> I anticipate my library really growing because I think I'm even going to go back and get some of the books that I don't have but I've already read just so that I can kind of display them and get excited when I see them again. One of my favorite romance series ever, ever, where did I put you? Is the Nora Roberts Vision well, it's the Bridal Quartet series, my absolute all-time favorite book series. I have just recently started getting into the romanticy genre and am falling in love with that. So, kind of, you know, two totally different worlds, <laughs> obviously, human world. And then Fourth Wing, Akatar, all of those are not human worlds for the most part. So, okay, let's go ahead and let's just start playing around with the books. We'll see what we come up with. So in full transparency, I did not love this bookcase. The long story short of it is I got this on Facebook Marketplace for a steal of a price. It's a stickly. So she is hefty, such good quality. She's absolutely gorgeous for sure. But I didn't love the color. Um, I had considered painting the trim black or restaining it all together a darker color, but I just can't bring myself to do it. So for a long time, I just kind of felt like it was a bookcase that needed to be in the lawyer office it just seems so formal I thought of reselling it so that I could get something more my style but over time I've actually fallen in love with it I won't say that I'll never darken it up or paint it but for now she stays as is and now that I've kind of made it my own and especially after we style it up today I love 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 it I liked it before but now whenever I walk into my office it gives me that quick pop of happiness which is my goal for all the areas in my home now never in a million years did I ever think that color coordination like this would be possible for me and in most cases I truly don't think it's practical to color coordinate books however after all the trial and error and moving things around I decided to put only my personal and business development books here in my office and because of the number of books I have this just made sense, so I thought I'd give it a try, and oh my goodness, the satisfaction I have when I look at this, 10 out of 10, level of joy. I thought 
thought I was done. <laughs> oh, and then I found the rest. Dang it. So I gotta figure out how I want to. Not much is gonna fit into this. So I need to figure out how I'm gonna do them over here. This just feels so good. I decided to take all of my romance novels, except for these guys right here, I decided to take them out. I actually went into the guest room and I grabbed a few extra of the personal development, the black personal development book, so I could kind of make that spot a little bit heftier. And then I was able to move all of those romance novels back into the other bookcase, which works just fine. So here's where we're at. I have product stuff here with room. Technically, I can scooch things together a little bit more. We can add another bin here, a bin up there. So we are good to go. And then underneath cabinets, I have any of the extra. So when the bins, the quick grab bins are starting to get low, I can refill them. So I'm so happy about the way the product looks, the product is displayed. I just, I do, the notepads look amazing. All the clip folios are here. Um, so yeah, love, okay. What I did with the extra <laughs> set of books, I thought, you know what? I actually really like the way it looks in the basket. They all fit in the basket, perfect. I left it as is, which is just kind of an array of books and they are not color coordinated. They're just kind of thrown in there. And I like that look because it kind of mimics what's on the other side over here. So over here, I have all of like the gardening, food, stuff like that, um, weight loss stuff, all of that healthy lifestyle stuff is there. And then I've also got my gardening and home decor books there. Now I have a lot of like, I've got the make beautiful and then the house beautiful style secrets, that's there. But I have a lot of other books on my tables which I'm gonna keep them there, that's good enough. I'm happy with that stack. And then I've also got my bins here. This is where I put my weekly um, planner sheets. These are the daily to-do list because I like to keep them, and at least for a little while. So I wanted to make sure that those stayed. And then in this bin right here, I have extension cords, plugs, surge protectors, things like that. And then up here, we've got all of my extra home decor stuff. So when I'm filming or I'm styling up a space, this is what I pull from. So I don't really want it in a closet and I think it looks really pretty and it's easily accessible. <laughs> so happy with that. Now this was unexpected. I may have even come in here and said, we're not gonna do color coordinated. That just doesn't really make sense. It does. All of my PD books are here. Personal development books, self-help, whatever you wanna call them, and business books, because truly, they're both kinda of tied together, so I didn't feel like I needed to split them up. Everything is here, and this coordination of color was so satisfying. Like, this brings me so much joy and it was really really easy to do as long as you don't care like that i'm mixing kind of personal development with business development and i don't care this is amazing absolutely amazing so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. We have many more areas throughout our home 
to refresh and reorganize and clean. So if that's the kind of stuff you enjoy watching, I'd love for you to pause me here and hit that subscribe button and bell for notifications and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.